Yeah, so I'm Leo Meal. I'm playing Fenya in Mutt. Fenya is our imperfect protagonist. He is sharp but tender. He is doing his very best to be able to reconnect with these people from his past, even though he doesn't quite know how to meet them in the present moment. He assumes that people are maybe not going to accept him, they're not going to understand him, and what he finds out through the whole film is that actually people love him and they want to be with him and they want to spend time with him. He just has to let down a few of those walls. Wow, that's a great question. I mean, one of the last scenes in the film is with Fenya's father. Um, and I'm now gonna cry. I'm like just really emotional today. Um, he is basically, the father is telling a story to Fenya to communicate to him that he sees him and he loves him. And it's a beautiful story of when Fenya was eight years old and it's raining outside, et cetera. I won't spoil it, but the two of them really, really connect. And for me on set, like Alejandro Goic, who plays my father, is one of the greatest actors. Like he's literally one of the greatest actors in Chile, but also really talented. To be on set with him and be so deeply present in the moment, connected to the emotionality of the scene, it was like, it felt like some of my best work and also some of the most meaningful work to do because for a lot of trans people, a lot of queer people, relationships with parents can be really fraught. And so to finally hear, oh, I love you and I've always seen you, it's, it's life changing. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I think we see this actually throughout history, but whenever there's an uptick of queer or trans representation in the media, there is an equal and perhaps greater response from the other side, I don't even know what to call them, that are looking to sort of like suppress um, trans rights, trans agency, queer liberation, etc. Um, and so while, you know, in Hollywood we're seeing more trans representation and this film is able to be a part of that movement, this film is more important now than ever because even just in Utah they are trying to fast track anti-trans like legislation that will essentially deny health care to trans people and so to be premiering in Utah in the moment where they're doing that is so meaningful and I hope and I trust that the Sundance community is able to bring out a lot of Utah folks to see this film and then they might have a different feeling about these legislations that are being passed or being put forward. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.